Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great and today we have another episode of my Scrap Femra series where we use up our scraps and make ephemera and make stuff that we can put in our journals. So today we are going to be digging into my paper scraps and also my fabric scraps. I had an idea of doing some kind of a collage or layered um, tabs or like pieces like embellishments that we can then use um, with um, we can use to decorate the edges of uh, of our pages or just you know do whatever uh, we want with them I'm not sure if I'm being clear about this but if you've saw uh, if you've seen the intro you probably know what we are going to do and you know it better than I do <laughs> so here I have my paper scraps and I'm just pulling um, I as you probably know if you've seen my previous videos I have my scraps kind of categorized I have my neutral colors I have my colorful scraps and I have my blanks so any blank pieces of paper vellum so and I also have my fabric scraps but we will get to those later so let me show you what I have in mind and my puppy is here on my on my lap <laughs> very interested as always so let's see let me pull out some of my blank scraps first as a base I guess uh, so maybe this, maybe this here. Zini, today's camera. Today, Nizia. <laughs> she wants to say hi. <laughs> uh, okay, I like this. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, then let me pull out some of the neutrals. And we can put aside those two. We can put aside those two. Uh, those two folders. We have some music here. Mm, some more music. Some more book page. All these sprayed papers. Some more ledger. This is nice. Um, nice color maybe a little bit of this doily I, I coffee stained some doilies oh I'm sorry <laughs> sorry guys hope you're not too distracted by her uh, so I coffee stained some doilies tea stained I don't remember and I don't like how the color turned out not, not sure if you can see this on camera but they are quite of yellowish and um, and I think I I you can just use them for this project. Maybe not this, maybe this one. Okay, so we have quite a lot. Ooh, vellum. I think I I would like some more vellum too. So let me pull out some vellum scraps as well. I'll put this aside. Okay. So now yeah we have a lot. <laughs> So now what I thought would be we could choose some colorful scraps and we could make like little layers, little layered pieces out of these. So uh, I have this pretty wrap, wrapping paper, um, this is some of these printables, oh, it shouldn't be in this category I guess. <laughs> We could use these or else and some patterned papers. <clears throat> okay, I have some nice flowery pieces here. And we can use some of Artie May's scraps. Well, lots of Artemis. Those scraps are beautiful, so I'm not. I am not uh, throwing them away. 
Okay, we also have some corrugated cardboard that I um, recycled from my box that I got. So, let's start with my idea. I'm going to start, I'm going to work kind of methodically here because we have so much going on. So let me start with tearing a few pieces, different sizes from the blank scraps. So I want some bigger, some smaller. I haven't done this before, as usual. I, I, um, I need to start um, trying these things out before I go on and film them, I guess. So, uh, so I don't, uh, I'm not nervous if, if this is going to work. But then I like, I like just trying new things and experimenting, so, so it's been working quite nice for me. Okay, some of these. And maybe some of this. Okay. So we have our pile here, then the second pile is going to be our neutrals. So everything from this pile that I can tear and salvage, and again different, different sizes, different shapes. <clears throat> I want as much of a variety as I can get. Okay, some book pages. So really pretty old book pages. Music paper is always good. Some more book page. I want to use up a lot of scraps today. <laughs> I really want to make a serious dent in my scrap stash because it's growing on me. <laughs> okay, second pile. Let's put this aside. And the third one, just pretty papers. Ooh, I can add a vellum to this maybe. This. So I hope you guys you will uh, hope you will join me in tearing away. It's actually quite fun and quite quite relaxing just to sit down and tear tear your scraps like this. And add some more of those. And I hope uh, we will be able to actually make something out of them. <laughs> I really don't know kind of where we're going yet but I just thought why don't we just do something where you don't have to think too much you don't have to worry about being perfect you guys know me you know I I don't like things being perfect in my in my journals. Um, I don't like to put this pressure on me. So, so this project is just great for that. Flowers. And I'm just tearing off the, the white edges because I don't need them. And this, I want to keep this flower as a whole. <laughs> what else do we have? We have some of these patent papers. Pretty, pretty flowers. Really gorgeous. And so I'm probably, I'm just tearing away here and I'm, 
I'm probably not going to use even a half of it on video but I just want you know I just want to show you my process I just want to show you how I will start this and I will probably continue um, off camera and it's a fun project because you really you just need your piles of scraps you don't have to have anything else as you will see in a moment at least this is how I imagine it <laughs> um, okay and um, maybe some of this as well this is pretty just a little bit of, of these papers so these are the scraps that we used for my uh, decorating junk journal pages for the collaging session that we did not uh, not that long ago <laughs> okay and maybe some of this corrugated card okay So now let's see what we can make with these and what I have in mind is that I'm just going to go through my <clears throat> piles I'm going to have a few bases like like this and this is what I tore these uh, blank pa papers for so I want to have a variety again of shapes and textures and sizes then I'm going to just go and add some of these here you can have some vellum vellum just adds such a nice texture such a nice feel to anything really And as you can see, I'm not being too careful at all. Yeah, I think I can actually use some of these as my bases too. Okay, so let me put the book page here. <clears throat> and for some of them, I'm going to be... Okay, just a piece of music here. <clears throat> what else do we have we have some of this um, sprite paper which is actually quite nice <clears throat> like this Okay, I think we have at least one layer on every of our bases. Now let me start adding color to those. I do hope this will all come together nicely and I will also want to add some fabrics to this mix <laughs> here this is a gorgeous flower let me put it here like this maybe some yellow <clears throat> So my puppy had a difficult, difficult day today. We we went to see the vet because I just wanted him to to look at her eyes to check uh, to check her eyes because she is she's a Chihuahua and Chihuahuas have those huge eyes. <laughs> 
and so they are um, she was like ter tearing she was a lot of tears are coming out from <laughs> her eyes and it's usually normal you know but I I've noticed it was getting a a bit worse lately so I went to check it out and he said that's unfortunately that's how it's going to be for her she's always going to have lots of tears that's that's just how she is and um, so he just uh, gave me some eye drops for her to uh, to clean her eyes and to to take care of um, to take care of it so take care of them so so you know so it's it's safe uh, safer you know for her to be to have so many tears I guess is, is what I'm trying to say I really love this uh, wrapping paper that I have because it's it has some gold foil and if you know me, you know, you know I love everything with gold foil and everything just shiny. Okay. Like this. Okay, guys. I think I want just Okay, to a piece of this one. So, here are our um, our basis. Okay, let me check if I have any fabrics here. I think you can see a little bit better. I have a little bit of the silver, which is pretty. Um, what else? This is really gorgeous. I have some pieces of this lace. And a piece of this one. So we have a few choices here and I'm going to cut maybe this lace into smaller pieces so we can actually fit it on our um, tabs here. Okay, and then I have this piece. I have a little bit of the silver. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically doing the same thing as I did with the scraps of paper. Just, just making a pile of smaller scraps that I can just add right to my layered pieces here. This we have a few these and again I'm probably making a cutting too many but um, but I have many <laughs> scraps left um, that I'm probably be going uh, to work with later <laughs> I think that that should be fine so let's see where can we add our fabrics And laces and so I actually think I'm just going to be to be stapling these you know to make them as quick and s simple as possible I think I'm just going to to staple th th through them <laughs> I, um, I said it before in, in some of my videos but I really do like stapling on my on my projects i know some people don't like staples but but i really do like them i do like the i do like the texture that they add and an interesting just an interesting um just an interesting detail and so i ordered some um 
what would you call it? copper I order I ordered some copper colored um, staples from my express and they really are pretty and they look really nice on my project so um, so if you are not sure about using metal um, metal staples maybe just look for gold or copper and Aliexpress has a lot to choose from as they usually have um, but I'm sure you can find something more locally too I just like um, I just like ordering stationery from Aliexpress because it's um, much more affordable for me than it is actually locally so even if I buy things like the other day I bought uh, some gold uh, what were they some gold um, paper clips and I've looked I've looked uh, locally and I've looked in online Polish shops and they were actually quite expensive I, d I didn't want to spend that man much on on something like this so I went over to Aliexpress and of course I found them much much cheaper there and I don't mind the waiting time if I can save money you know and some shops really kind of ship quicker than others I have some shops where I just two weeks and and I have my my order with me so it's not that bad given that it's, it's coming from almost across the world okay so this is so cute and colorful so let me see if I can actually staple them together and I want all the layers to be visible Yep, as simple as that. And we have our tab or we have our uh, piece that we can use for decorating. And I think we can do something more with these, but just give me a moment and let's staple them down. And of course, you know, if you like the look of stitching, using a sewing machine on these would be great too. <laughs> one staple and I have all these pieces stapled together and then I can put them on a journaling card, on a tag, on a pocket, I can make a tag spot out of it, I can make a tab out of it. Just so, so versatile and so many scraps run out of staples. Let me change this. So yeah, such a simple and quick project. And we're able to use so many scraps. That's always going to be to be something uh, I look for in a project, you know. Quick, easy, fun, and using a lot of scraps. <laughs> and if you don't like to sew and you don't want to staple, then you can just glue all those pieces with your glue stick or with your wet glue onto the base and it's going to be to be great as well okay so all of my clusters are stapled i think all of them looks like that and they're basically good to go you can use them like that but maybe we are quite good with time today. It really took me quicker than, than I thought. Maybe let me staple this one again. But maybe we can do something to decorate them further. So I have a few things here. I have these faux flowers that I got recently with some project in mind that hopefully you guys will see in a couple of months <laughs> i have this box full of colorful buttons that my sister gave me for christmas i mean 
how awesome of a gift this is. <laughs> so you could could use some of these. And I also have some ephemera from Tim Holtz. And we could maybe find something in here. This is his field notes. Yes, field notes. Some of these out. And I think I want smaller pieces. Ooh, one more thing we could use to decorate or to add to our oh, so much going on here. Some postage stamps. How about adding some postage stamps here and there? So many oppor opportunities here to just to just keep adding and keep in enhancing them and keep making them prettier and prettier. <laughs> Yeah, I think I like this one here. So let me do this quickly. Like I will quickly check if I like anything. Oh, I think actually it could go here. If I like anything anywhere. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe here. Like the yellow. <clears throat> And the blue one. Okay, so there is that. Now let me see, maybe let me see if any of these flowers will work. Yeah, actually, they look pretty cute here. This green is maybe not the right green for, for these. And they add yet another texture. Which is something I'm always I'm always looking for. Yeah. It's pretty. And these flowers it it said um I bought them online and it said they were from mulberry paper. Mulberry paper flowers, so they are handmade, handmade flowers too. Then the buttons. So I think I'm not going to be using Tim Holtz for these. Let me see what buttons I have. I actually like sewing buttons on. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I kind of like them. I like sewing them, I mean. So I can can certainly sew some buttons. I'm trying to be careful here and not um, drop anything on the floor because what what goes on the floor in my apartment immediately goes in my puppy's mouth. <laughs> she's um, she's better than, than a vacuum really but it's also not not great for her. I really have to be careful because I wouldn't want her to eat something she shouldn't and be hurt. I don't think I actually want to add anything to this one because it's so pretty with the flower and the, the gold fabric that we have that I'm actually going to leave it like this, I think. So now, how do I do it? Let me take my stapler again. And maybe I will staple the flowers. And then I will go and... Uh, flowers and the stamps. And then I will go and uh, sew my buttons. I will pause you. I will do it off camera so I don't keep you here but, but I will come back and I will show you what we have and you will probably be seeing me in a few videos in the future <laughs> using these because I'm using these on different projects because I really think they are so fun and now I can't wait to just, you know, use them up. 
and they really took no time at all. I suppose the longest uh, that's going to take he is going to be sewing the buttons on, but like I said, I don't mind it. I like sewing the buttons. This is oh, okay. I'm going through another staple here. Okay, so I think everything is stapled. I'm just looking here. Oh, maybe the stamp too. Okay. Right, I really love these little pieces. Really pretty. I'm really happy with them. Okay, so now guys, let me pause you. I will turn on some podcasts probably. I will just sew these buttons on and I will I will be with you in a second. I will show you what we have and I will show you maybe a few ideas I have for using them. Uh, okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, all done. It took me a little while. I have to admit it was quite difficult to sew through with my needle through all of these layers that we have here. But I am super happy with the result. Let me quickly show you some of these, how they turned out. really like them. Hope hope it's not too close to the light. This one is gorgeous. I love this one with two buttons. I almost didn't sew the green one because I was so tired of, of sewing through the multiple layers, but I kept going on and I'm, I'm happy I did. Again, two buttons here. This is a little cutie. And this one, so pretty. This one. Yeah, I really love them. And they were really quick. Like I said, they, they, what, what took me the longest was actually the buttons. And if you skip this step, uh, then you will have your dance in no time at all. But I'm happy I didn't skip it because I really like them and they really add, add something nice. So what I have here is my Pastel Blossoms journals that we are working on together. And I will link the playlist below for you if you like to see everything uh, that you see here, how I made it. But I just wanted to show you guys how I would um, use these. So I was thinking of adding them on sides of the pages. So like a page tab. Um, like this, maybe, you know, on those, sh those shorter pages so that this wouldn't stick out too much. But then I don't mind things sticking out. It's just I wouldn't like it to get, uh, to get, um, uh, like destroyed, you know, because of, of the fact that it's sticking out of the cover. But I just think, I mean, just a simple page with this on how pretty uh, and you can also use them especially if you have like bigger ones you use a bigger base you can attach them on two sides to your page and you can use them as tag spots and also you can use them do i have any any journaling card here um, I don't think I do, but you can totally like attach them to journaling cards, to pockets, uh, and you can really make so much things with them. And yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. <laughs> I hope you made some of your own and um, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!